What is going on, Gulf Coast Nation guys? Thanks so much for tuning into this week's episode. This week, I got the bass gear loaded in my shotgun seat, but I'm headed to the beach to do some surf fishing. Come on, let's go. It is a beautiful time of year down here on the Gulf Coast. This is the start of the early Pompano run here. And this is kind of how the steps work. There's an early Pompano run. Then if the weather stays warm and it's going to for the next week, by next week, there'll be a thick Pompano run. If it stays warm the next week, then the ladyfish and Spanish will start showing up. Once the ladyfish and Spanish are here, you guys already know what's gonna be chasing them black tip sharks I'm out of breath then when the black tips get here big big pregnant female bull sharks who are just pregnant and angry as I'll get out come and they are aggressive eating everything and then when the water gets to 68 70 degrees which is hopefully hopefully mid-April then my friends then spring is on like Donkey Kong but Let's bring it all the way back to right here. Early Pompano Run. Let's go. All right, so today we're gonna to be using some sandbar one-aught circle hooks and three-aught extra wide or kale hooks. Now you can go to sandbartackle.com and pick up some of these hooks or Hopefully locally here, some tackle shops like Sam's and j and will be carrying these hooks. Sandbar Tackle is a Gulf Coast Nation trusted brand and we put these things to the test on anything from Pompano to Amberjack to 10 foot tiger sharks. Tell people all the time, man, if you got bass gear, bring bass gear down here, get some shrimp, get some Pompano rigs, get yourself a pyramid sinker, come out to the beach and just fish. So today I'm gonna prove that point exactly, surf fishing. Orange Beach, Alabama, early Pompano rig, using only bass gear. We're gonna fish this rising tide in about 10.30, we're gonna just give it quit. So, that's always something to pay attention to. Always something to pay attention to is the tide movements. Fish the rising tide, fish the falling tide, but when in doubt, fish all the time. Of course, the hard head had to come say hello this morning, so I'm glad he did. We're gonna let him go. Whoa! Little whiting here, southern ah, southern kingfish as some people call them. Really nice fish, really good eating. So we're gonna get this guy in the cooler, take him home.
Number two here, whiting number two. Making some good meals here. I need about three more of these and me and my fiance have a good meal tonight. We've been here for just about two hours. We're just waiting for that tide to rise. We got about another hour, hour and a half of that tide rising before it levels off. And it should just continue to pick up as that tide rises, so. But sometimes all you need is a different perspective. Hi guys, there's proof right there. <laughs> a little exciting there that you don't need big surf gear to have fun surf fishing. So I got this little bitty Cabela's special from like 2005 with an old quantum rod that I found. Oh! Just like I was saying, when that rod hit there, <laughs> you do not need, and not need. Obviously, it's gonna be better to have surf fishing gear, but if you're coming down here to visit, you just got bass gear, bring the bass gear out to the beach <laughs> and have a great time. Look at that pompano. This is what we came out here for. Yes! All right, palm bites getting hot with this rising tide, so we're gonna get them in the cooler, get the rods back out there. Alrighty guys, we are back in the truck now. What a fun morning of surf fishing. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you got something out of it. I was really just trying to prove the point that if you come down here on vacation and you visit, you do not have to get 10 foot surf rods and a saltwater reel and braided fishing line. You can just bring down your bass fishing stuff and have a great time. Now, with that being said, if you live down here or you want to invest in a surf fishing rod, Obviously, that is a better choice. I believe we would have caught more fish this morning, possibly more pompano, if we would have been able to reach the far side of the bar with a bigger surf rod and braided fishing line. But that is not to say that we didn't have fun this morning. We caught six different species in the surf, and I've got three whiting and a pompano I'm taking back home right now to cook up and eat for lunch. So with that being said, surf fishing with bass gear, Orange Beach, Alabama, 
success. Guys, don't forget to like this video, leave a comment below, share it with your friends, and as always, we'll see you guys next week.